Hello and welcome. I'm Robin from DxO, and in this video, I want to explain how to use the Knit Collection from Photoshop. You can launch the Knit Collection plugins from the Photoshop filter menu. When you choose one of these, it loads the current image ready for editing. There is, however, an alternative way to do this that offers more features. When you install the Knit Collection plugins to Photoshop, you also install the Knit Collection palette. This is a floating palette which you can use to launch the plugins. If the palette is missing, it's probably because you closed it by accident. When this happens, you can reopen it again from the Automate section of the File menu. Just click the entry for the Knit Collection palette to launch it. At the top of the palette, you may see helpful messages like New Releases. Then below this are the individual plugins which we can launch by clicking. Notice that I have my panel configured to create a new layer in the image. This consolidates all the other image layers and my changes are applied to that. You can set this workflow up in the panel settings by clicking the cog icon. Then select the option Apply to Image Composite rather than Active Layer. Sometimes when editing in Photoshop, you may feel that the palette gets in the way. And although you can close it, there are a couple of other options to consider. The first is to switch to the compact view by clicking the small icon to the top left. Now we only see a thin strip of icons which we can drag out of the way. Click it a second time to expand the panel again. We can also choose to minimize the panel which collapses it to the bottom left of the screen. When the panel is collapsed, we can still drag to reposition it and expand it by clicking the maximize icon. Another great feature is that we can add presets to appear in the panel. You'll notice that some of the plugins show a small arrow to the right of the list. Click this to expand the section revealing selected presets, which can also include custom presets. All we need to do is click one of these to apply it to our image. There's also a last edit button which repeats the last set of adjustments applied with this plugin. When we click that, it opens the plugin and we see the last edit. But there's also a new last edits feature with the Knit Collection 6 where the software tracks the last 15 edits made with this plugin. We can then click the one that we want to use to apply those changes to the image. Controlling the list of presets in the palette is also easy. All we need to do is mark a preset as a favorite in the plugin. It will then appear in the list below the plugin in the palette. And no discussion about presets would be complete without mentioning the excellent meta presets. These work like regular presets, but combine effects from multiple Nick plugins. When you select one of these, it applies the effect without even needing to open the plugin. Photoshop users also have the advantage of being able to use Nick plugins as smart filters. After launching a plugin and adjusting your image, you can click the Convert to Smart Object option. Now when you apply your adjustments, the image layer you're editing is converted to a smart object which saves the settings you've just applied. If you then decide you want to change the settings, double click the Smart Filter to open it. You'll then see the changes you made previously, including any control points and control lines, which you can then adjust and save. Now you're ready to express all your creativity in Photoshop using the Knit Collection 6 in an optimized workflow. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, knitcollection.dxo.com.